Hello, Roach. What, no hug? The men know there's something wrong. It's like they can smell the dishonesty. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Uh, lying to people that trust you ain't supposed to come naturally. Here's hoping we're getting closer to the truth. Classified infestation in progress. The are going crazy. We're not equipped to deal with this level of aggression. Please, are you out there? There's been no word from you Sam. The love of God. Is anyone out there listening? Sarah. Sarah, get the boy. What's happening out there? You have to go now. Leave everything else. Just grab the boy and come with me. It's going to be okay. It's impossible. I wasn't you were born here. Never said. Sir, we hold out a little longer. I never knew. General, the evacuation protocol. You listen to me. I'm getting my son out of here, and I'm going now. We don't blast off now. Then nobody will survive. Off. The ship is leaving. You need to go into the fight. They're leaving us behind. What are we supposed to do now? You left them there. You abandoned the whole colony. Save me. All those people. I'm sure he did what he thought he had to to save his family. He had a duty, Jim, to those people. Dead, every one of them. No chance. No hope. No survivors. No. No, listen. I have to tell you something. There were... Sir, sorry to interrupt, but we have an emergency. Sir, it's urgent. Please respond. I'll take care of it, boss. Jim, come in. The King Crab Acrid that has been terrorizing the area for months has been spotted in the North Plains. He is public enemy number one. Is that clear? Exterminate on site. I am authorized to credit you maximum bounty for this kill. Roger that. I'll put my hunting cap on. Jim, any reason Mr. Braddock isn't responding to my calls? Is everything all right? He's fine, Jay. Just dealing with some bad news. Give him some breathing room. I think this is right. I don't think this is right.
Let's see what that did.
known as actual. You copy? The king is dead. That a boy, Jim. We are well rid of that particular menace. Somehow I knew you would be the one to collect that bounty. I'll let Braddock know. Taylor Roche, you got beat by that? It wasn't so tough. Is it an award you want? C'est trois le roi, hein? <laughs> Listen, they're still after us. I should have known they'd never quit. Stop. Stop. Don't worry about them, just keep on talking, all right? You started the story, you better finish it. Yes. Yes, all right. Where was I? You nearly told Braddock about the survivors. Yes. I nearly did. But I knew it wasn't my secret to share. Though I believed I had seen Braddock's heart that day. That for all his compromises and collaborations, he would never let any harm come to the survivors of the first colony. I had started to think of the first colony survivors as my people. Just as I did the Corona's crew. I'd left one family on Earth just to find two more here. I was trying to be loyal to everyone that deserved it. Keeping secrets within secrets. But deep down I knew the situation couldn't stand. It was time to put my cards on the table. To get Zoe Chi and Braddock together. In hopes they could forget the past. And finally heal by helping one another. I didn't know it was already in motion. I didn't know it was already too late. Jim, dude, did you know Nevik was coming? What are you talking about? Nevik? Yeah, like troops, paramilitary mercenaries. There's a military cruiser docked to the base. There's men with guns everywhere. Major bad vibes. I can't even tell you. Where's Braddock? He's behind closed doors with the guy who seems to be in charge. Don't even get me started on him. I think I heard him asking about you. I didn't know whether to tell you to come in or warn you to stay away. Well, I'm already here. We're going around in circles. I'm here now. We're investigating, and we'll reassess the situation once all the facts are in hand. Ah, Peyton, is it? Thank you for coming. Mr. Braddock, if we could have the room. Pardon me, but this is his office. Jim, don't. Don't make waves. Not now. Looks like you got everyone good and freaked out. That's why you're here? Hmm. I can see why you're so well respected around here. A natural leader. I am here, you could say, to provide perspective. And you mean Nevek's perspective? Well, considering the resources we've expended to make this effort possible, one could say that that is the perspective. I don't work for Nevek. Indeed. But you take the credits Nevek pays you, so... Perhaps I can prevail upon you to hear me out? <laughs> I'm sure that you'll come to realize I'm not here to dismantle Braddock's operation, but to make sure that it counts for something. Why are you here? Your family, correct? I understand that motivation better than you think. So, tell me, is there some other priority, some new agenda that you place ahead of your family's safety? Something more important to you now than ever seeing them again? Hmm? <laughs> of course not. 
Let me tell you why I'm here. I'm here for the human race. Not just for my son's future, but for all the children of Earth to escape extinction. And there is nothing and no one that I will allow to get in my way. That's all. The Green, have we uh, located that Dr. Roman yet? Please, my experiments are in a delicate phase. For any controlled demonstration, I simply need more time. Hey, those Nevagoons just dropped off a box of parts for your rig. Something about charging a drained battery like those big Zeus numbers on the fueling depots. All right, I think we go claw arm with this one. Wire up the fingers, make them into jumper clamps. Yeah, that could work. And then I cranked it to the nines with some Primo booster packs. I lifted off some old T-190s. Pack wrap power for the win, right? <laughs> so check it. Your claw arm is juiced. Pump it and you can charge batteries in a flash. Got a feeling it would charbroil an acrid in a few seconds too. But you let me know, okay? Love and beyond as always, kid. Oh, and I'm calling it the shock jumper. Now get out there and shock jump some things. I want the Roche begging for one so I can tell him to stuff it. <laughs> Thank you. 
so hard. James, we're on the right track. I can smell it. I've triangulated the approach vectors of dozens of storms, and I think I've narrowed down their likely direction of origin. And we're right about those storm acrid. There's every indication they're carriers of the pure stuff as well. Ah, uh, sure. But look, Doc, I gotta tell you. Braddock's out of Coronis. Nevik paramilitary pulled rank, benched him. The new Commandant is bad news. I don't know how much he knows, but he's looking for you. I think you should clear out. I know a place you'll be safe. James, you're being a little dramatic. We're close to the ultimate jackpot. With this knowledge, we could hold all the cards, do you see? Please trust me on this. I've been dealing with Nevik nonsense for years. There's no better protection than having something they want, something that you can bargain with. I'll watch my back, I promise. Now listen, I cooked up some subterrestrial resonance samplers.
Arnie, I'm getting pretty close to where the signal has settled down. You still reading me? Damn, I was afraid of that. Always a bitch getting into reception past Shaq's peak. I'll have to fill you in when I get back. Jim out.
Let's see what we got here. Where does this go? the lines or whatever. But how can I help if you won't explain it to me? What is this place? Not a place. Nushi. Nushi? The name Saichi gave her. I mean, God like Leviathan. A source of pure tea energy? No. The whole planet is the source. She purifies and provides to those who accept without taking. She is the engine, the organ by which all things of our world are brought into harmony. Wait, so she's a harmonizer? Some giant organic harmonizer? No, no, no. The technology knew she inspired has long outlived those who ever knew her secret. Well, you're skipping ahead. Go back a second. When I drilled the Acred attack, like antibodies defending a host. Which you knew. You'd seen that before. The frenzy that overran the first colony. I was a scientist for Nevik. It was I who led Nevik's drills to her flesh. I knew she was alive. Yet in my ambition and arrogance, I let them drill regardless. Alive? Like any living thing, she fears, she angers, she hurts. Pierce her hide, will she not bleed? Stab her heart, will she not die? She deserved to be protected. And I failed her. There are those who believe that pure tea energy could be the discovery that saves mankind. If we can find a way, as you did, to harvest it respectfully, what if Nushi could sustain the Earth? Look at the lives we could save! You are young, Jim. You have the dreams of a soul untouched by malice. But respectfully is not Nevik's way. They would come to her with drills, and she would defend herself. And if she did not destroy them, they would surely destroy her. They would bleed this planet dry, and leave no trace of life. Jim, above all else, Nevik must never know about Nucci.
Gracie, hi. I don't ever want to keep you waiting again. I really don't. I just... don't know what to say right now. This job... is a lot more complicated than I ever figured it for. I'm trying to put us first. Stick to the plan. Earn what there is to earn and get on home. I do what's in front of me, what seems right. Sometimes I wonder just what exactly the hell I got myself into. Beach sounds nice, though. 